The Wrangler Star subscribers have spoken and the overwhelming majority of you want to continue with the off-grid treehouse. You want the details, you want every step. So we're going to ride this bus to the end. Today I've got a really fun project here. We're going to start building the tensioned wire cabled handrail. Alright, before we start uh, building the rail, we've got to make some hardware here. So you can buy all this stuff, uh, but you can also make it yourself for a fraction of the cost. Um, so what we're going to be using is uh, someone from the previous owner of our, the homestead here left rolls and rolls of this really beautiful galvanized twisted cable. It's really supple, really strong. It's nice. It's been outside. It hasn't rusted, so it's really a durable stuff. It's probably pretty small, maybe eighth inch or so. This is going to be perfect because this stuff is really strong, uh, twisted braided steel. Uh, I've got lots of uh, cable clamps with it, and so more on that here in a little bit. So, but today, where we need to start off is we need to produce or, or build um, a bunch of these little ferrules. I've got two of them built right here. As this cable threads through the the four by four posts you know that that cable is pretty abrasive and it will it will base it was essentially just wear the wood away and so what we'll do is we'll make these steel ferrules which will slide in and then the cable will tension through the will go through the holes and as it comes around it'll be resting metal to metal it'll protect that wood not only that but it will uh, i'm going to tension it with or th these are all you know the best laid plans of mice and men uh, I'm making this up as I go, but I'm going to tension it with one of these really heavy duty springs. We're uh, back into granddad's bolt, bolt, bolt drawer again. There's a nice one, big stainless or uh, big galvanized. Yeah, that's galvanized. So we'll put one of these on the end and that will keep that tight. A lot of times you see these cables um, done and they're not done properly. They're not tensioned right and they, they, they sag and they look terrible. A cable uh, handrail is really nice because you can see through it. It doesn't obstruct your view. There's almost no maintenance to it and it's super strong. So let's jump in and I'll introduce a new tool. Some of you may be familiar with it. Many of you are not going to be. It's a, a flaring tool um, and that's what we use to build our ferrules. So this here is a flaring tool. You can see right there it's marked out 5 16 quarter, 3 8 or 3 16 And what it does is it creates a flare in the end of tubing. You can see just like this. Usually uh, this is often done for airlines and some water lines, brake lines, anything that needs to hold a liquid and hold a lot of pressure. A flare tool is used to make that seal. We're going to use it a little different, kind of a little different application today. But the tubing that I have is kind of a thin wall. Uh, it's just a, an old dipstick tube here from an old Jeep Wrangler 4.0. But this will be perfect. It's about three eighths in size for these two, for this uh, these flanges. So how you do it is uh, you just pick the corresponding size and you let that sit up above a little bit, so we can mash that down. And we'll just open this clamp up here. Tighten this wing nut. Down there's there's actually grooves. This is probably it's probably an oddball size. You can see it's ovaling it a little bit, but it's we don't have to hold air. So, also well, here this is the tool that's got the point on it. This will actually be the made the, the will make the flare. So we'll put that on there like that. And then we can tighten this up. There's a handle here that will slide into the top of the puller there. And we'll just tighten this down until we bottom out like that. And there we have a really nice flared end of our ferrule. You can see right there. And that will keep that from going into the wood. So that's a very cool tool. You can do it with copper. You can do it with steel. You can do it with stainless steel. Just about any type of tubing that you have. Um, this is just what we have. So I'm going to make up a whole bunch of these. And then we'll, uh, we'll get started on our posts. And then we'll just use a hacksaw to cut these to length. So I want to thank all of you for the uh, birthday wishes. Um, a lot of people have asked about that. They thought it was an April Fool's joke, but no, I was. It is my birthday today on April Fool's Day. And I know, I've heard it all. 
somebody's got to be born on April 1st, and that's my cross to bear. Also, there was, um, I wanted to, there was some confusion about the video that I put up yesterday, uh, the man of the year video. Um, uh, some of you thought that I was uh, uh, coining myself man of the year for uh, um, coordinating uh, the, the donations to Adam for Adam's boot. Uh, that was, I assure you, was not at all the case. It was just simply a, a parody of, uh, at the intro of that video when I was uh, taking a nap in the truck and Mrs. Wrangler Star was filling up the gas, so that was uh, supposed to be some comedy. But uh, some of so, some of you didn't, some of you didn't, or kind of missed that. So just wanted to uh, clarify, I was not uh, taking credit for being man of the year by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so I've got uh, I've figured about 32 of these little ferrules made up here, and. 31 and uh, my springs and all my hardware and let's go over and let's go back to the tree house and we'll start laying out and getting the posts installed. So I'm cutting the first two posts which are going to be the main support which is going to hold all the, the strength. This needs to be really strong because you know how boys are up there playing and rough housing. Someone could get pushed against it so it's got to be absolutely rock solid and, and uh, no chance of it coming loose. So here's the main post. It's a full dimension 4x4 that I cut with my chainsaw mill and I'm cutting a little uh, 45 chamfer on the corner there to kind of finish it off to match the stringers up there. So I'll cut one more and then we'll go and lag these in. And then uh, this will be the start of our handrail. So this chop saw is designed to work with 2x4, 2x6 traditional framing. This being full dimension, it won't cut all the way through. So I can just finish the last bit with the uh, handsaw. So code for handrail height is uh, between 34 and 38 inches, that's the finished height, that's where you would put your hand on it. So I'm going to make these at 38, the top end of the, of the spectrum. Alright Jack, can you grab my handsaw and put it in the bucket? Sure. Thank you. All right, Jack, tell me what you think of this. How's that look? Good. Looks good? I thought that was going to be I think it will. I think that those clamps are really, really good clamps. That's the one for now though, right? What's that? That's the one for now though, right? Oh, you don't, no, that's going to be permanent. That'll hold a boy up, won't it? No. <laughs> I don't think it will either. No, it's just I'll hold it temporary until I can get a, a bolt in it. All right, I think we're ready to lag this in, Jacka, Jackers. Yeah, that, that'll look good, huh? Yeah. All right, so let's bring the, we'll bring the van around. So that'll finish out it. So we got 36 and a half right there. That'll finish out at 38, so that's perfect. All right, let's uh, lag these things in. This is going to be a nice handrail. I think it's really going to look nice on the on the treehouse, and it's going to keep those boys corralled. So if you'd like to watch part two of this, uh, you can click on the thumbnail picture. And again, I'll give you a reminder, those of you who don't know, there's some new changes to YouTube. They're implementing something called cards. 
and if you look on the top right there's a small circle I think with an explanation point in it and you'll be able to click on that and that will open up access to the cards which will link directly to the new video or the next video or the playlist whatever the creator wants to put up there the nice thing about that is those of you who watch on mobile phones and pads are now going to be able to access those end cards so that's that's that so on to part two, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment and click the thumbs up, and I appreciate all the support. Uh, I could, could was overwhelmed with the amount of comments of folks that were really excited to see this through. Uh, the fun stuff is coming up. We've got the, all the off-grid stuff, the solar panels, the charge controller, the inverter. All that stuff will be coming up very soon, as soon as we get the roof on, and uh, I'll be sharing that with you. We ordered the roofing material yesterday, and so that will be in in three or four days. So lots, lots coming up in the future. Uh, also, uh, Mrs. Wrangler Star and I will go down and do a little tour. We haven't looked at our trees that we planted, the 860 trees. We'll see how they're doing. The weather has been very favorable for that, uh, so they should be doing well. So we'll see you guys on the next video.